Hello everybody, uh, welcome for another strategies, tactics and boosts video and uh, we have a new uh, GP in our hands, we have live F1 uh, uh, this week in Austria, so uh, our F1 class GP event for this week is the Austrian GP. Today we are going to talk about the qualifying races, the four qualifying races and again we have an interesting mix of uh, tracks. Let's go and see first of all uh, the four tracks we are racing for this qualifying round. So as you can see we uh, are racing in Spielberg, in Austria, Red Bull Ring, uh, Jeddah, Monza and Las Vegas, but be careful, in Jeddah you see temperatures above 30 degrees. Uh, it goes up to 37 degrees, so uh, be careful, be careful with, uh, with this. Uh, if the temperature goes 35, 36, 37, then we have to uh, keep in mind that tire degradation is bigger. Uh, of course, as you can see, Valtteri Bottas, Cold Fusion and the Spire are the, f uh, the, three, uh, the three assets that are featured for this uh, event and they are boosted with 10%. Okay, so uh, let's start with uh, our uh, tracks here. Okay, here we are. And, um, we start, of course, with uh, Austria, which is a defending and speed track. This means the best boost, the boost that have both track stats boosted are Rainbow, Vice and Tulip. And as you see, Rainbow has the highest, uh, has the highest uh, amount of points that you can get from a boost for two uh, different stats. It's 45, then it's Vice, and then it's Tulip. And Rainbow will boost both almost the same, but when it comes to Vice and Tulip, then you have to decide, do you want to boost more your defending or more your speed? This is up to uh, you to decide and up to the setup you are using. Okay, so here nothing changed uh, from last season. Again, 10 laps, two pit stops, 334, soft, soft, medium, and 433, medium, soft, soft. But if you have good tire management, all softs is the best strategy to go here. But for uh, medium to low tire management drivers, If not in this strategy, here we can go for softs and run out of tires, but for this one, last thing for laps, then you should use mediums. For medium and low tire management, um, if you have better tire management, then go all softs. Uh, it's of course a faster uh, strategy. Where, uh, and we see here the, uh, the, the best speed car parts and for the qualifying, I haven't checked, but I'm sure this is how it's going to be, but we will talk about it on Friday. Uh, on the qualifying round, all four tracks are speed tracks. So we are going to need, like last week, 
that was only partnering tracks. Here we have only speed tracks. When it comes to me showing you the best car parts for each track, you will only see this table because uh, all four tracks are speed tracks. So, uh, and let me explain that these are the six best uh, parts for each car part brakes, gearbox, rear wing, front wing, suspension, and engine, and three alternatives. Okay, for those of you that are watching for the first time uh, one of my strategy videos. Now, the second start here is defending. This means that uh, the Ferrari drivers Leclerc and Sainz plus Norris are the three best uh, drivers uh, if you have them in, uh, if these are among your top, your best drivers, then go for uh, Leclerc, Sainz and Norris. So, uh, let's go to the next one. Our second track is Zeta, which is a tire management and speed track, as, uh, as you can see. And here we have some differences. Well, we have a big difference than last uh, season. First of all, we will see uh, our boosts. The best boosts here are Eagle, Dead Fast, and Eternal Flame. Probably Eagle, the best one to use. Of course, it has 35 points total, so it is the best to use, but it's the more convenient here for the strategies we are going to see. So, Zeta this season uh, is faster if we go with one bit strategy. For low and uh, medium, for basically for low tire management, even if we use Eagle, probably we should go with mediums. But if you have more than uh, 60. 63, 64, 65 tire management and use, uh, well, probably if you have more plus 60, 60 plus tire management with Eagle though, not without Eagle. Uh, if you have 70, you can do it even without Eagle. Uh, but if you have 60, you would need Eagle, worst case scenario, Eternal Flame, to go not 3 3 with mediums, but to go. 3, 3, 1 pit stop with softs. This is the fastest strategy. This is the best way to go uh, in Zeta. Eagle, softs, 1 pit stop and that's it. Of course, if we have more than uh, 70, 72, 73 tire management, even a little bit more, even without boosting our tire management, we can do 3 laps with softs. This means that we can use Dead Fast instead of Eagle or Eternal Flame, but yet Eagle is the best uh, boost for this uh, track. So don't forget Zeta one pit stop, whether it's medium medium or uh, soft soft, and maybe if you are uh, on between okay i can do three laps with softs but i will run out of tires a little bit before the end then you can easily go as in other tracks soft medium you can mix up these two strategies okay so uh yep that's it here of course again our uh, speed car parts and our tire management uh, drivers which is of course Alonso the best one Piastri and Hamilton okay our third track the third track we are racing is Monza again like in Austria this is a defending and speed uh, track basically very fast tracks like Austria which is a very fast track and Monza of course uh, we all know that it's 
one of the fastest tracks in the circuit. Um, uh, we know, uh, would it, even if Hats didn't tell us what are the track stats here, speed, uh, we would have guessed speed for, uh, for this one. By the way, until last season, we were always choosing speed boosts for tracks like this anyway. Um, so this is a defending and speed track. So we're going to see the same boost par car parts and drivers uh, as we did in Austria. But the strategy here, we have eight laps, not 10, is one pit stop, low and bad tire management, 4-4 four, four with hards. Uh, medium, uh, let's say medium tire management because even with 65, 66, uh, you can easily go with mediums. 4-4 uh, four, four with mediums. It's the fastest and the best strategy for Monza uh, going one pit stop. Again, our speed car parts and our defending drivers, the same as we have in uh, Austria. These trucks have the same uh, setups. And yeah, I know the dead pig. This is, <laughs> this is like a pig upside down. Uh, the, the Las Vegas, um, the Las Vegas track and um, yeah here we have race start and speed i know we all say that it's a very slow and boring track but it's a track we can do we can get points uh, so we just need to follow uh, some basic uh, management and uh, strategies and we can get big points here okay Race start and speed, this means Street Shark, Firework, uh, Rainbow and Timeless. Basically, if you ask me, Street Shark and Firework are the two best ways to go. My third choice would be Timeless and my last choice would be uh, Rainbow. A good race start in uh, Las Vegas. Can give us a lot of uh, can give us a big advantage um, okay so strategies of course you can go to 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 all softs this is the safest choice and basically if you have low tire management this is the safest choice although two pit stops are a little bit uh, slow if you ask me, the best strategy here is 3-3, one pit stop. And you see, I'm saying 3-3 with mediums, and this is for a bad or, uh, let's say, low tire management. If you have above 70, maybe 67, somewhere like this in that neighborhood, um, then your first option here should be soft medium, not medium medium, first in with soft, it will help our race start, we can go, we can have a very good first lap and then just cruise along, we will run out of tires by the end of lap 3 but it's okay for the first thing and then second stint we go with mediums so we can be, uh, we can finish the race with some, uh, with tires and not finish with zero tires. But if you have even more, uh, even greater stats in tire management, uh, probably above 75, then both stints with soft you will see uh, your drivers overtaking everyone because no one is 
uh, going so fast as you and even the the bots that will go uh, with softs uh, they will do one extra pit stop so you will overtake them just because they are doing one extra pit stop and the bots that are doing uh, one pit stop they are with mediums or with cards and you are way faster with softs we overtake easily there in a lot of uh, spots in uh, in Las Vegas so although it's a boring track it's a track that we can as I said we can gain a lot of positions we can get big points so uh, both your drivers go with this strategy 3-3 and according to your tire management uh, basically even if you have low tire management I would say go soft medium it's okay that you will run out of tires in uh, the first thing go soft medium and if you have good tire management then yes soft soft uh, and you will see how uh, easily you will uh, get the cars that are in front of you okay so let's see the uh, <clears throat> our for the last time our uh, speed car parts and here we will see the drivers the race start the best race start drivers the mercedes drivers uh, hamilton russell and signs although i know that hamilton has a very low qualifying uh, and sometimes we tend to say maybe we should uh, not use him because he starts way back uh, in the grid yeah, it's a decision here if you trust his race start uh, then go for it else go for a more balanced uh, duo for your drivers you know that I'm using Norris and Leclerc uh, they are more balanced but okay and I will use a street shark or firework to boost their race start so I'm hoping for better results there it's up to you to decide what you are going to use okay so uh, that's it for our four tracks uh, for our four tracks in um, uh, in our qualifying round you know that we are going to race again these four tracks in the opening and final round so maybe if your group and basically the qualifying groups uh, allow this uh, if your group so if, if you can qualify easily do some tests do some experiments as I like to say uh, with your uh, setups and with your drivers uh, to see which uh, what works better so when the time comes in the opening round and the final round where every point counts there uh, uh, you should know by then uh, what is better according to your setup according to the assets you have uh, okay let's see again our tracks Austria, Zeta, Monza and Las Vegas our uh, are for uh, tracks for the qualifying round okay so uh, that's it for uh, this week's qualifying round I hope we helped don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel uh, press that little bell that will notify you every time I upload a video or I'm live streaming uh, don't forget read the description below this video you will find my discord server link uh, click on the link and join my discord server and of course don't miss out of our next videos next one is uh, 
uh, Wednesday my uh, quali my live stream for the qualifying round. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Best of luck to your races. See you in my next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.